What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in for Destiny 2's weekly reset. And of course, it's Tuesday, June the 18th, so we've got the third weekly reset for the final shape. And this week, we do know about things like the Grandmaster variant of Excision. But it's possible we'll get other Final Shape related content rolling out. Then of course, Episode 1, Act 1, we'll get another story beat this week via the kind of main seasonal quest. So we'll have some new progression there. And otherwise, there's also a new patch today. So hopefully a few fixes for Final Shape content, some of the bugs and issues. But additionally, we'll cover the Eververse refresh, all of the core vendors in the game, as well as the main rewards and unlocks for the week, featured Lost Sectors, activities, and plenty more in the video. So as always, I hope you guys find this one useful. If you do, get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content, but without further delay, let's get into it. And initially, Grandmaster Excision is going live today, and Bunch have said that this will remain a 12-player activity. On top of that, though, it's worth bearing in mind that it will not have matchmaking, so we'll need to get that 12-player team together ourselves. And otherwise, for the moment, we don't know exactly what the reward will be, but Bunch did tease that it will be worth it, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, there'll be something solid there, but let us know down below if you plan to dive into that one this reset. And otherwise, for Echoes, the one thing we do know for sure is that we're getting another set of story quest steps this week, so this will be Act 1, Part 2 story. And Bungie is sort of mixing up how these roll out now, so next week we'll get the third part of Act 1. Then I believe we'll actually be waiting until Act 2 to get the next main story section, so hopefully there will be some juicy story bits in there this week. Failsafe will certainly have some more research for us to do and activity related stuff, so let us know if you'll be playing Echoes content this week as well. Next up though, today, of course, we did get the update for Destiny 2. This has come with an extended period of downtime, so many folks who've been trying to get on the game uh, initially at Reset have been enjoying the one moment please screen and a whole bunch of chicken error codes. That's always fun. So for the moment, we're going to talk about the patch update and some new content that we get access to this week. And for Excision, the Grandmaster variant specifically, we do now know that the exotic catalyst for Ergo Sum is actually one of the rewards for it. So I'm assuming that's the primary reward, but that's based on a small number of players that actually managed to get into the game early. And the Ergo Sum catalyst grants Transcendent Steel, where dealing damage with a Transcendent Grenade grants Ergo Sum ammo. Which does sound like a decent catalyst overall. Of course, that works with all of the variations of Ergo Sum. So let us know your thoughts about it. Of course, it is locked behind that 12 player activity, so you'll have to let us know if you think that is enticing. But for the patch notes today for update 8004, initially for the campaign, Bungie do say that they fixed issues stopping players from getting their prismatic subclass in the following circumstances, and that includes being in a fire team where at least one player already had the subclass, or playing on a second character of the same class after getting prismatic on the first character of that class on the same account but also joining another player after the subclass part of the mission and then getting kicked to orbit during the cinematics. And effective players will get the prismatic subclass and all of the missing unlocks next time they visit the Pale Heart, so that is at least useful. Then for the Final Shape campaign for Transmigration, they also fixed an issue where the empowered font step where the activity would become softlocked if a player immediately defeated the Eaters of Light and Dark before they stood up. So a couple of campaign fixes. And then for gameplay and investment, they fixed an issue preventing Hazardous Propulsion's enhanced rockets buff from applying to rocket damage when some lower strength weapon damage buffs, such as Radiant, were active. And they say Hazardous Propulsion will only override Radiant and other similar bonuses when the stat count is high enough to exceed Radiant's damage bonus, and it will also not override in cases where it doesn't apply, such as on non-rockets. But then for weapons, they fixed an issue where players would hit a Weasel error code when reshaping their exotic class glaives from the Witch Queen release, and they fixed a problem where the Vow of Disciple Adept weapons did not cost Spoils of Conquest to perform weapon enhancement, and then one where seasonal weapons from Lightfall year required Lightfall to be craftable, and they do say players still need the pattern to be unlocked to craft the items, but finally, they fixed an issue where Tusk of the Boar Grenade Launcher and the Multimax CCX SMG wouldn't enhance properly. And these weapons will now enhance correctly, and those previously enhanced should be updated to work as expected. For the last few bits though, for abilities, they fixed an issue where Smoke Bomb would not make players and their allies invisible when Trapper's Ambush is equipped. Another issue where picking up a Stasis Shard at the Glacial Harvest aspect equipped wouldn't heal the player. And then, one where the facet of Command Reloading behavior could be activated repeatedly with no cooldown. 
On top of that, for accessories, they fixed a missing lore tab on an exotic ship. And for platforms and systems, an issue that would cause audio output to be silent on the PC when using spatial sound formats, including Windows Sonic for headphones. And another issue that would cause audio output to be silent on PS5 when emulating the PS4 executable with 3D audio for headphones enabled. So some kind of specific instances there, but finally, in general, they fixed an issue where the game could crash if a player's consumable inventory was full when trying to pick up either a mode of light, luminescent seed, strand meditations, or the polymorphic shell coat. So those are the patch changes for today. We are still waiting to actually get into the game, or at least I am, so that may mean that we don't cover the Eververse inventory for the reset right here, but at least we got some patch changes, and I'm sure once we actually get back into the game. Hopefully, it will be a somewhat interesting reset. For some other bits of content to round up though, this week, the Nightfall is the Disgraced. And as far as we understand it, the Nightfall weapon should be undercurrent, at least according to Zavala's focusing options. I believe that's had a couple of updated perk rolls, so I'll link like GG down below if you want to check those out. Otherwise though, Starcrust is the exotic mission this week, so another opportunity for folks to pick up the Wishkeeper. Especially if you perhaps missed the quest back in Season of the Wish, it could be useful. And the assumption as well is that Legendary-wise, we'll be getting Season of the Wish weapons dropped in there as well. So there is that, and otherwise, for featured raid and dungeon content, this week we've got Deepstone Crypt as the featured raid, so we can farm away for Eyes of Tomorrow in there. And on top of that, the Pit of Heresy dungeon will be featured too, both drop in updated power gear. But finally, for Lost Sectors, which now can drop exotic engrams, of course they can still be useful to acquire new exotics as we can spend them at Raoul to level up. But for today, it'll be the Conflux on Nessus, then June 19th will be Thrillodrome on Neomuna, with June 20th being Hydroponics Delta, and 21st being Val's Labyrinth on the Cosmodrome. Then we'll get Exodus Garden 2A on June 22nd, the Broken Deep on the Pale Heart for June 23rd, and the Blooming Deep on Pale Heart for June 24th. And so there we go, hopefully that's been useful today guys. If the video has been helpful, then a rating below really does help us out. And once again, let us know what you'll be diving into this week in the comments section. But otherwise, as always, I very much appreciate you tuning in today, and I will catch you guys very soon. I never thought I'd see him shaken up like that. He's always so strong. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Uploaded, judged, and eliminated. I will be ready.